The last time that I went to the Amazon bin store, there were a few items I had no idea what they were. I kind of just grabbed them and threw them in my bag. And truth be told, during the haul, those were the most fun ones to either look up or to try to find out on video with you guys what the heck was it that I bought. Today, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm turning it up to 11. I'm gonna open the Ikea bag, and if I don't know what it is, it's going in. If there's a box and there's a label or a sticker on it, I am not gonna read it. If there's a box and it doesn't, doesn't have a sticker on it even better let's go to the Amazon bin store it's fill a bag day that means you get to fill an entire Ikea bag for only ten dollars I'm gonna fill the bag with a lot of stuff that I don't know what it is and other really cool items that I'm gonna bring to you guys over on whatnot let's go fill our own mystery box and I thought I have to pick this up and we'll find out together what it is and apparently it's worth hundreds of dollars I pulled up 30 minutes early and I was the fifth person in line. I swear to you, there are like three of us that resell in this whole town. So I'm happy with my place in line. Let's go inside and see what I can find. The bins look relatively empty, but beware, there are some dangerous items in the bins. Um, people continue to bring their kids to places like this and uh, you know to each his own but I don't know that I would want my kid digging through here because in this next bin you'll see I'm just going about my business moving some school supplies and party supplies and unearth another very sharp item so wear gloves if you're worried about something like that these are razor sharp little needles popping out of there um or just be really conscientious about how you're moving items and what you see. I found some PMS pills and in the end I decided I didn't need those. You guys know I'm jolly all the time. But even though these bins look super empty, I'm determined I'm gonna find some gold. It is probably not this flamingo. This is a random white bag of powder. Uh, this was still there when I left. I was the last person to leave and no one was brave enough to pick up the random bag of white powder from Amazon. Tell me in the comments below, would you have picked up the white powder bag? I found another one of these books like the one I got last week. Lots of party supplies in here. Uh, it looks like a lot of junk, posters. There's an entire bin still full of books. I found this book with Drew's picture on the cover, which is great. I'm, I'm kidding, you guys. I was the last person to shut this place down per the usual, but you guys are gonna be impressed. I filled the bag. Um, I got a lot of good things and I did my absolute best to either pick up items that didn't say what they are or if it said what it was, like not read the sticker. <laughs> so basically, I paid $10 plus tax, $10.83 for an entire trash bag of mystery stuff. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. probably weighs 40 pounds or more. It was $10.83. So let's open my $10.83 Amazon overstock return mystery bag. The very first thing is this huge, oh my gosh, it wasn't the first thing. <laughs> the very first thing is this huge, what is this, right? We do have a beach trip planned at some point this summer. And I was like, is that like a huge beach shovel? Like you can just like really dig a hole in the sand. So, oh, it, it could work as like a fan down here right now. So um, I'll sit here and tell you like a supermodel. So there I was just walking down the runway when I saw this and I used Google Lens and it said, it says it's for snow. And I was like, wait, to dig in the snow? No, you set your cute little bottom here and hold on to this and then slide down the hill. It's a miniature sled. I got this for the kids. Next item I grabbed was, is kind of a personal pickup. It's weightlifting chalk, well like sports chalk, but it's kind of getting all over <laughs> everything because it's a little crushed. <laughs> ah, our first mystery box it doesn't really say there's just like a skew there there's a hole here something is written on this side i saw this box it's very lightweight so i hope that like i think there's something in there this being the first mystery box of the day <coughs> i'm still choking on the weightlifting chalk this being the first mystery box of the day it's gonna set the precedent for this whole video i feel like <gasps> Does it ever, <laughs> you guys, there's, oh, is this a, oh, it's a llama. I was like, is this a unicorn? It's a llama pinata. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. 
There's more than one. Oh my gosh. There's three llama pinatas in here. <laughs> Why are there three llama pinatas? These are so stinking adorable. Can you really fill them with stuff? You can to fill cut here. Guys, I could do my own little mystery thing on whatnot and like shove stuff down in there and sell you the pinata. Come on, like comment if you think I should take one of these and fill them with little Amazon mystery items and then sell it on whatnot, the mystery pinata. Oh, wouldn't that be so cool? I could find cool stuff to shove in there, I think. <laughs> okay. If all of the mysteries go that well, I think we'll be doing just fine today. Okay, next up, oh, there's a ton of these. You're gonna see two or three different styles, but they're these tiny little bags, um, zip top bags. And I thought whenever I sell something small, like a piece of jewelry or something, I could put them inside here. Um, okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let's find out. It says Vinker. Vinker cartridge contain. They are generic um, ink cartridges. So it says there are, there's black one piece, cyan one piece, magenta, and yellow. So there's four ink cartridges in here. Let's see if it says what type of, oh, it, here's the compatible ink cartridge. It's compatible to an Epson. This, I wasn't sure what it was. Um, it says Etic City, Etic City. I hope this is just, okay, this is like the protective film over the top. So it is in like good condition. Start, stop, set, and there's like a gauge over here. Wait a second. It's a blood pressure monitor. Oh, I saw a blood pressure cuff there, but it was just the cuff and I was like, well, I don't have the monitor. it! it went to this. I don't know, like this may just be trash now then since I didn't pick up the cuff. I don't think that was even in the same spot. This one is um, AFIAX Universal Battery Glue Adhesive Tape Strip Replacement for iPhone 6. Oh, so it's a tape strip for an iPhone? Like if you took the battery out? Okay, whatever you say. Oh my gosh, I got so many of these. These are more valve stem covers and this one is for Honda. This is CRV, they're like a carbon fiber um, for like at the bottom of your door. If you have a CRV, who makes the CRV is that? It just says door sill protectors. Oh, so it's for the door sill. That's cool. And it comes with the tool also. So if you have a CRV, why do I feel like someone just said that they had a CRV? I don't remember. Um, let's see what's inside this box. Again, don't know. Um, just picked up the box, felt like there was something heavy inside. <laughs> so we have this box. I don't know what's in here. What is this? <laughs> this looks like it's like a magnet. It looks like a really thin magnet. So is it like a refrigerator door thing? There's a sticker. Magnetic paper towel holder. Okay, hey, that's pretty cool. You can stick this on your refrigerator and just slide the paper towel on there and then it's not on your counter and it's up out of the way. We don't use paper towels. So this will probably be for sale, but that's, a, that's pretty cool. And I guess furthermore, if you had like metal cabinets in your garage maybe or something, you could also use it. Or in your reselling space, you could put rolls of tape on there if you have something that is metal that it would, you know, the magnet would work on. Uh, thanks for coming to my TED talk about magnets. This is the other bag style. This, this guy is like a little diver and he has a plant. I don't know what this is. It says three RL cartridge, permanent makeup, knee makeup machine. Wait, are these needles? Are these needles for like a tattoo gun type? <gasps> They are, they are little sharps. Guys, I found some seriously sharp stuff in the bins today and there are like 30 of these. I don't know, there's not 30. There's like 10 of these in here. Does someone have a permanent makeup machine? How do I sell those? What's inside here? I didn't look at the thing. I was just like, I bet it's a poster, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. It's like sandpaper. It's like sandpaper inside there, like rolled up. Is it sandpaper? I don't see anything. Okay, we're gonna have to read the sticker. Grip tape, sports out air treads flip flop. Okay, so it's grip tape, but you wouldn't put this on like a bat. Oh, for like a skateboard. It's skateboard grip tape. Okay, all right. Or for tread, anywhere that, Oh no, now I can't, all right. Anywhere you need a little bit of tread, it's rough as sandpaper. Um, I saw this and I was like, what is that for? It's like a little button. Boop. And now I'm looking at it and I realize 
this is a lid. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. That seals it. It. Where was the trash pile? Oh yeah, the same place that this blood pressure machine is. Whoops. I don't know what this is. This says Top CAD. Let me show you guys what it is. Does anyone have an idea? Top CAD? Simulation car parts manufacturer. Top CAD rear bumper U? Is it for like a model car? Like like the bumper, basically like a rebar? I'm gonna get my phone and look this up. Okay, it looks like it's for a model car. It's like a rear bumper upgrade. I wasn't really able, on Amazon it says that these aren't available anymore and on eBay there was only one listing for a front bumper and it was $16. So if this is something you need or if any of the stuff that you see in today's video is something that you need, please reach out to me um, and let me know, hey, what you'd be willing to pay for it. I already had someone reach out on the last video and we were able to work out a deal super, super fast. But I will tell you, it makes it a lot easier if you'll reach out to me on something like Instagram rather than eBay because eBay looks through all of the messages and it can be really easy for them to think that we're trying to work out a deal outside of the platform. So especially if it's on something that's not yet listed, um, reach out to me on Instagram. Over on Instagram, I'm Rachel Strickland official and I'd love for you to buy any of the stuff if you want it. Moving on, our next item. Oh, I'm totally giving this to Dello. It's a messy poster. He's really going to like this. Oh man, the guy totally crushed this. It is a dictionary page that someone printed a sugar skull on it's really really cool but and it says authentic dictionary local vintage prints I just think it's super cool it's just printed on there but it's on an actual dictionary page but he did kind of crush it. So when you fill your entire Ikea bag and bring it up to the front, they basically take the Ikea bag, put a black trash bag around it, and then dump your bag. So anything like these posters that you have in there runs the risk of getting damaged. Why am I still buying posters? This one didn't say what poster it was. It just says 12 by 18. Let's see what this poster is. It's like this anime prince and he's got, what is she pouring, Fanta? Well, he or she behind him is pouring some Fanta in there, it looks like. That is a pretty cool poster. It'll be available, low, low starts over on my whatnot. I already had one whatnot. Um, where I brought a lot of this stuff. And I think on the next one, I'm going to be making lots of items, like lotting even more things together. Cause I want you guys to feel like you're getting a deal. And sometimes the shipping on whatnot can make it seem like you're not. For instance, if I start an item at a dollar and it's even five ounces, then you're going to be paying like $5 in shipping. So you're not paying a dollar for the item, you're paying six. Now, after the first item, you do get a huge reduction in your shipping cost, but still. Okay, you got to help me out with I see this package and it's just a white card and a little shovel. And I was like, is this like for a fairy garden or something? I'm thinking there might be seeds inside here or something. There is a sticker, but have not read it. I want to see with you guys what this is. Okay, yes, absolutely a little plastic shovel inside there. And then this is, is this is thick? What is in here? Okay, now I'm more, I'm so, I couldn't be, is this sticky? Is this supposed to be sticky? What is going on? They're like, they look like garden markers, but why are they so sticky? Let me show you guys. Okay, so like this one is the shape of a cat face, but it's like you peel this off. We're gonna have to read the sticker. 12 pieces sticky trap, gnat traps? Come closer. Gnat traps, is this? What the heck is the shovel for? Am I supposed to A, dig tiny little gnat graves for their gnat bodies? <laughs> like, is that what the shovel is for? Am I supposed to scrape the gnats off of here? Where do you put these? In the garden? This, there's butterflies and cats. Everything about this is so extra. I'm so confused. Aye, aye, aye. I did find a lot of, um, a lot more car emblems this one is Mercedes Benz and they are wheel center caps an HDMI cable oh I picked up a bunch of charging cables anytime I found like a USB charging cable because remember I found the card reader last time that I thought was a knife sharpener and it didn't have a USB cable with it this one looks like it attaches to an iPhone and it is super super long all right another mystery it says trunk nets ink thank you for shopping with us Let's see what's inside here. It's just this piece with hardware like screws to place it somewhere. 
What does the label say? Trunk, nets, ink, front, screws and wrench kit. Do I put this in the trash stack? I. It's letters for the front of a Tundra, like a Toyota Tundra. Another Nat funeral service. I got a bunch of those guys. I literally thought they were little shovels and they were gonna have like flower seeds or something to do with a fairy garden inside or something. I had no idea it was a Nat funeral. Um, an Audi license plate cover and it's carbon fiber. Oh, it's the front and back. Okay, there's two. How nice is that? I don't know how many items I have today, guys. Last time I averaged about seven cents per item and I would say I got as many items, possibly more this time. This is, it was blue, it was fabric, and it was in a bag. I don't know what it is. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we had a few mystery clothes? Oh, this is soft. Mystery clothing pieces or something. Oh, it's not clothing at all. It's a velvet pillowcase. It's two velvet pillowcases. They're so pretty. You guys, Drew and I are currently looking for a green velvet couch and tell me how beautiful the pillows will look with these blue velvet pillowcases on them. I love this. And there's two of them. I'm totally keeping these. Um, this is, it looks like a cable for like an amp or something. There's like audio cable there. I think it's for an amp, but you guys can tell me what you think. Oh, I found another one of the Taylor Swift Evermore album covers. This is really cool. And I sold one on whatnot the other night. So I got, I picked up this one so that if any of you guys are Swifties, you can get some of those. I got some more of the bags. Surprise, surprise. surprise, surprise. What is this? I literally have no idea what this is. It says plate 80. Do you think I can use Google Lens and figure this thing out? Even with Google Lens, I still really have no idea. If you're not familiar with Google Lens, it's this free app anybody can get. You don't have to be Samsung or iPhone or whatever. And you basically just point your camera at an item, take a picture, and it's gonna search the internet for photos like the one that you just submitted. So um, for instance, if I didn't know what this box cutter was, I could simply snap a picture of it. And then I have all of these box cutters pop up. So when you don't know what an item is, that's exactly how I discovered what this item was. I just took a picture of this in the store and it popped right up. Use Google Lens. Okay, this one doesn't even have a sticker. So I hope that inside we're gonna be able to tell what in the world it is. What if it's like some really expensive jewelry or something? It says, we do care. One year warranty. Oh, it's a case for your earbud case. I swear, only in America do we have cases for your cases. This one is black with white marble, and this one is white with black marble. I'm not really sure what's in this one, but it is partially ripped open, so I'm just gonna rip it the rest of the way open and we'll find out together. <laughs> the mystery aspect of this video, this is not, Guys, it is a wig cap and a wig. You realize there's not a chance I'm not trying this on, right? And a full wig, you guys, like blonde highlight. Okay, this hair is actually softer than my hair. Get out of here. I mean, I haven't wanting my hair to grow and this isn't any longer, I don't think, than my hair. This is a good quality wig. It's got like combs in the front and everything. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can pull it off with my hair. Today's video is brought to you by the color brunette. <laughs> Guys, why does it have this lump? <laughs> The colors are like seriously cool though. And look, the blonde almost matches my blonde. I can just wear this directly over my hair. I feel like I'm not giving this wig respect in not having the wig cap on and everything. It's so soft. It's like coming out <laughs> as I'm running my fingers through it. Uh, what, what is next? Oh, this, I picked it up and I was like, what is inside there? And then I realized it's a bunch of little bobbins. So, sewing notions here, 36 naked bobbins inside here. That should sell in like a craft whatnot. Oh, I got a mouse pad and it is 
I think it's like a world map on it. It has the cushiony gel thing down here for your wrist. And then it's not a total world map. It's only like North America, but that could be useful. I got an audiobook because several of you guys asked for books in the last whatnot. Um, this is Stuart Woods Unbound. I don't know, the box is in rough shape, but if you wanted them to read for you, you might really enjoy that. I found some more of the phone ring holders. Uh, the Chair Pro Pest Reject. Okay, so this repels bugs and insects, I guess. It's one of those um, high frequency things. You just plug it into the wall and it's going to repel a mouse, mosquito, cockroach, or STW. What's STW? This is cool. I don't know how well this works, okay? It says it's for Air 13.6, so I guess it's for an Apple Air. And it is like a keyboard. It's, is it a flat keyboard? You know, the more I look at it, I think this goes over your keyboard. But what is this piece on the back? Like it snaps onto the back, I guess, of your iPad Air, your iMac Air. Some Apple person in the comments helped me. This is a phone holder for a motorcycle or a bike. Oh, I got this. I don't know. It was just this big, heavy piece of metal. And it says Hager, H-A-G-E-R, door closer body. I was like, is that for, if it's heavy. Like, is it for a car or something? Like, it's not a hinge, but it's a door closer body. What is this for? Google Lens, like, come to the rescue. Show everybody how well you work right now, Google Lens. Dishwasher, faceplate, no, these aren't right. Sorry, I promise most of the time Google Lens works. Okay, we're gonna type in um, Hager door closer body. Oh, it's for a commercial door. Like, it goes up at the top of the door. That makes sense. I don't have the other parts. I just have this one part. See, I should have looked this up at the store because I might have been able to find the other pieces and parts there. I don't even know, like $50 for some of them, but this is just this one part, so I don't know. Like, at the very least, it is very heavy metal, so I could put it in our scrap pile and maybe make a couple dollars off of it. I thought when I saw this that it was a piece of uh, clothing inside. It's another wig and wig cap. But this one is in like a Ziploc bag. But it does say Hot Kiss Fashion Wigs. It still has the tags attached. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's red, you guys. Okay. Oh, wait. It's a short wig. <gasps> you know I have to try this on. What? Wait. Which part's the front? Oh, wait. I think I found the part. <laughs> <laughs> this is, whose head is this supposed to fit? Why is my head so big? <laughs> Wait. You guys, on the right person, this could be really cute. I mean, the color is pretty. It looks like a vintage swim cap on me. Why is my head so big? I don't understand. Do I have a big head? Don't answer that. Best wig, most beautiful you. Professional wig manufacturer. It is very soft. Am I gonna be able to do something with these wigs? Okay, this was interesting. Wait, there's something else in the wig bag. Guys, what in the Halloween 1992 is going on here? These eyelashes have got to be like plastic. Fashion eyelash case. I mean, guys, she is cheap. I mean, I'm just saying like, you kind of ruining your credibility about how professional the wig is, but the free eyelashes that you included with it. Oh, I got two of the LED lights that I was telling you guys about like the recess lighting, like what I have in this room. Um, but it does, it's just the light. It doesn't have the connector unless I can find the connector somewhere. Oh, this is so fun. Um, a Run DMC shirt patch so run DMC you can't really read it this way but you can kind of see it that way I think this is coffee I'm not sure it says Maxim canoe Columbia 30 sticks I think it's coffee but everything is written in Japanese or some other language it says medium anyone brave enough to try this what is this no idea okay so <laughs> we have this is what the outside of it looks like is that is the package trashed inside? Should I have gloves on for this one? I have no idea what this is about to be. This has got to be a return. Oh, um, it looks like it might have caught on fire. It feels like there's beans. It looks like something might have caught on fire. It's like, okay, it's like one of those masks that you would put on your head, but it's scorched 
it's scorched like all over. I've seen these where you can put them in the microwave um, or in the freezer. Like, did someone burn their mask up and then return it? Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, here's the actual parts that says like warm compress. Where was the trash stack? I'm so glad I didn't like that this was just included with the bag of really great stuff that I'm showing you guys. Total mystery here. I'm ready for this to be something amazing. There's a hair stuck in the tape. Oh, something sharp just fell out and hit me. Oh, what in the what? It's a watch band. It's a leather watch band. It just says genuine leather and little knowledge. Watch belt instruction manual. It's a real leather watch strap in a little wooden box and then it has the tool to be able to take it off and here's, it's a watch strap. That was every bit as exciting as I knew it would be. Here's some more valve stem caps. These are for a Honda. Don't know what's in this. Let's find out together. Oh wait, it's kind of already ripping open. It's a flat like manila envelope. There's a little bit of danger in not at least reading the stickers cause like that last one was sharp. What is this? Okay, I know this side here, that's a bottle opener. What heavy duty effective beer openers. So it's an oil slick sheen uh, beer open. And it is heavy duty. Like you can't even bend this thing. This is, but why is this side round like that? This side is like a bottle opener shape. Okay, either way, definitely a cool item. All right, what is this gonna be guys? What is this gonna be? <laughs> it looks like it's vacuum sealed, whatever it is. What? Do you guys like this style of video where we have no idea what we're opening even though I just picked all of it out and bought it? What in the world is going on here? He's a very angry little flower and why is he so vacuum sealed? Where? Where is this plush flower from? Like, is this from a TV show or something? Wait, he has little legs and arms. He just says made in China on the back. I'm just trying to think like, why would someone go pick out this angry little flower? Where is he from? Oh, I got these little car coasters. They're BMW and they have rhinestones all the way around them. Those are super cool so many stickers i ended up just finding stickers like in the bottom of um the bins and i just started grabbing them i don't know what tv show or character this little thing is from or if this is someone's original artwork maybe they sell online but i thought it was it's really pretty it says sir pinches i don't know maybe this is from a tv show maybe one of you guys know I'll be showing you those as I get to them. <gasps> it's another wig. Leave five star review, get $5 refund. Okay, I don't think you're allowed to do that. <laughs> it, this is one just like the one that I tried on that was brown and blonde. <gasps> Look at this. These are called Yuppo Salucan. They're gummy worms. And the expiration date is not until December. It says fruit flavor soft candy with fruit juice. I thought this might be fun to throw in. I don't know what language most of this is in. Like, I have no idea. I don't know where, it, oh, it says Turkey. So Turkish gummy worms. If any of you all want to try some Turkish gummy worms, those will be in my next whatnot. This is a tattoo machine, just like the base part of it. I don't have any other piece to it and it's broken on this side. So it's probably junk. And from the feel of it, it's probably junk anyway. Another mystery box. Wonder what's in this one. <laughs> Oh wait, hang on. It's another magnetic paper towel. I got two of those. All right. Um, not sure what this is about to be. There's like a picture of flowers. Oh, it's more inkjet cartridges. Okay, so more printer cartridges. Must have been a lot of those today. Ooh, I got two sets of straws. These will be for us. I enjoy using paper straws at our house, especially in the summertime. Oh, I got another carbon fiber license plate frame set and these are for Jaguar. Um, I think that this is like a case for sunglasses, um, G Queen. And so it has like the case and the cleaning cloth. I don't know if G Queen is, I've never heard of that. Uh, Mercedes Benz hood emblem. This is another door seal plate and it's for a Honda Civic. And it's carbon fiber also, that's pretty cool. Okay, no idea what's in this one. 
It is a purple bag. It feels like there's something like hard down in here. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna open it with you guys. Let's see what's in here. I'm kind of like nervous to stick my hand down in here though. Okay, I have no idea. Some type of little connectors. Let's see what the sticker says. A uh, 30 piece door lock with Audi seat Mercedes Benz. So they're like little rivets for the doors. Ooh, another phone ring. This is, okay, what is this? This says front of vehicle power gear leveling control pump harness connector. I'm gonna look this up and see if I struck gold on this random little piece. You guys, I typed in power gear leveling control and the numbers that are on here, there is one listed on eBay and it's listed for $329. And then let's see if there's any sold. There's two sold. One of them sold for $380. $81 brand new and one sold for 150 it just says leveling control for three valve spring so like a leveling kit for your car is that what is that what this is I mean seriously what are the chances guys it's just a random little plastic thing that was sitting in the bottom of the bin and I thought I have to pick this up and we'll find out together what it is and apparently it's worth hundreds of dollars I found some more stickers these say retro stamp postmark motorbikes i don't know they looked really cool let me look through them real quick and show you guys some of the neater ones that are in here oh yeah they're just little they're literally like postmark stickers this one says republic of italy these might be really cool for luggage even like this one says brazil these are so neat i think i got more than one of these departed from you know like whatever country argentina there's an entire huge stack of these. France. Hi. Somebody wanted to say hi to you guys. He just got home from school and he's watching me go through all this stuff. I just gave him the the snow sled. You need to go see if that snow sled will work in the grass. What do you mean? Even without the snow. What are the those are Turkish gummy worms. Yeah, put those down. Go take your snow sled outside, even what though it's man, 90 that degrees. Was like. Yeah, just go play with it. I got this little, it's like a set of LED lights and it's all battery powered. There is a little switch here, but I doubt very seriously that it comes with like batteries installed. There are batteries installed. Look how bright this is. Holy cow. You guys, you can't see. It just looks like a huge bright light, but it's different pastel colors. There's green, pink, blue, and yellow. This is so bright. Holy guacamole. I could like put my makeup on with this thing. Um, this is a replacement um, lens cover for a Canon camera. Oh, okay. I have no idea what's in this. It feels a little squishy. Some of these are really taped up tight. I'm trying to open it in a way that I'm not gonna damage whatever's on the inside also. You know what I mean? What is this? Literally, what is this? They're like little glass. What is this? There's several of these inside. I am so confused. Okay, I'm now having it out. I'm more confused than I was while it was still in there. This little shape, what is this for? Is this like a bottle stopper? I have, no, wait, there is a sticker. Five pieces, household transparent, made for kitchen grill. What are these? There's five of them in here. I hope it's not like some weird paraphernalia. And I'm just naive over here. Uh, who knows what's in this box? Made in China. You guys should have seen me. Like there were people in the store that were like, I can't find a single thing. What do you have in your bag? And I was like, I don't know. And I really didn't. Are these spark plugs? What? Okay. Wait, is this for the tattoo gun? This is totally either for a makeup. I think this is part of it. There's a sticker. Let's see what it says. Ignition coil for G240 or generator with spark plug. This is heavy. Okay, I gotta look it up and see what this is worth, if it's worth something. Okay, you do see why I thought it was a tattoo gun, right? Okay, I typed in ignition coil GX240 and that is a type of Honda. It looks like they sell for like $14 with free shipping. So not a huge pickup there. I just had no idea what that was. I also don't know what this is, but it's a car part and it was laying there and it says car bowl performance coils, instantly power lift, lethal voltage, disconnect before servicing. 
it's an ignition coil as well and you typically only find them in like eight packs but an eight pack is worth like 90 to 140 dollars so i'm not really sure how much just one would be worth oh i got this little book embrace every challenge i like that probably a personal pickup for me more valve stem caps and these are for mercedes-benz I got, this says LED controller, and it just branches off into all of these different um, control ports for like, if you have multiple LED lights, I guess. Oh no, see, look what they did to my poster. This is, oh, this was the Jesus picture one. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a canvas and it didn't get messed up. I will walk by faith even when I cannot see. That is super nice. I just know one of my friends is gonna want that on uh, whatnot. So low, low, low starts. Like most everything was a dollar start the other day. I don't know if I'll do a dollar starts this next time or if I'll lock things up and you know start them a little higher then. Here's a little Toyota emblem. Oh, I found this and yeah, I picked up one shoe because my husband has these shoes and I happen to know these sandals are like $90. Um, it's zero shoes it's the idea is that it's a zero drop and it's as close to not wearing shoes drew bought these for a hundred mile race he didn't end up wearing them for the race and i don't think that he loved them but they are very expensive it's zero with an x and these are the z trail very expensive shoes and i just thought you know Who's to say I won't sell a single shoe? Okay, no idea what's in the envelope here. I can't believe how many mystery packages I was really able to find. Um, okay, like two random little wiring harnesses. What does the sticker say? Two pieces, car right, Octavia Fub. Okay, Octavia. Next item, <laughs> I have more of these bags. There's like a ton of them. Oh. I saw this. I'm so excited to see what's in here. Okay, first I saw this. It's a little velvet bag inside of a bag, and it says um, Top Top Asia, Topesia, something. And then I saw this book, and I was like, oh, I bet it's crystals because look on the outside, um, it has all these. And you guys know how much I absolutely love rocks. <laughs> I love crystals and minerals and gemstones, and we have side here uh, no doubt I'm gonna end up keeping this probably for me unless it's just something weird oh my gosh there's so many pieces in here holy god they're hair barrettes they're crystals and hair barrettes this one says Saturday it's a gold tone hair barrette and then wait these are like wait these are heel tip there's random stuff inside this bag like really random stuff this is a pair of heel tips which i actually do need a pair of heel tips right now because i ordered a pair of gucci heels and the they arrived with the heels busted off of them um but that's weird because it has nothing to do with any of this and the saturday thing that really doesn't have anything to do with anything either but they have these crystal hair clip so it's like an oversized bobby pin with crystals attached to it and then this one is like amethyst but it has this weird black string necklace is in with everything too that is so weird but here's the amethyst one so let me just take this obvious return and put it directly in my hair for the duration of the video and be super gross oh my gosh it's so cute okay it's kind of cute it's kind of not me i'm not sure if i would wear these or not i'm kind of bummed out because it looked like it it was gonna be crystals and I don't know I don't understand why there's such a random assortment unless whoever returned it literally just like threw a bunch of stuff in here and you know instead of returning her crystal she just returned all this stuff like what happened the little bag that it came in is cute though more stickers lots and lots and lots of stickers you guys another astronaut bag this one says don't look back little notepad for me I don't know what this is. Oh, these are more car, more vehicle letters, like vehicle um, insignia. And I think it says, Do oh, no, it says Denali. They're like chrome. It says Denali door badge nameplate right there. I should have just read it instead of trying to cut it open. Here's another little poster. All right, let's see what this poster is. Oh, it's Sonic and Knuckles. How cool is that? I'll have to ask Israel if he wants to put this up in his room. It's from Sonic 2. That's really cool. More valve stem caps for a Mazda. Valve stem caps for a Hyundai. 
Um, these are, oh, I got these. Um, I have been collecting some dinosaur items from one of my friends here, Boldly Grow Picker, and look, Boldly Grow, I picked you up some dinosaur stickers. I'll put those in my personal pile because I've got to send them out. Oh, my kids have been playing with these squishy little animals lately, and I found a couple of these, so I grabbed those for the kids. And then this is, it's like a earbud case but it also has i don't know what this is for it's like these little squishy silicone cables with it with this earbud case your guess is as good as mine on some of the stuff guys another astronaut bag um this is a case like a you can, i know it looks like an empty bag to you but it's a case for a samsung watch and my husband's using a samsung watch right now oh talk about bright I think my future in Amazon bin stores is really bright. <laughs> Guys, it is the brightest thing ever. And it has different modes and then it also has like this emergency flasher. So uh, I'll ask my husband if he wants or needs this for um, running, uh, cause we use some headlamps, but this one I feel like you could clip on to just about anything, even including your shirt, a pair of shorts. You could really light the way with this thing. Another pair of like earbuds or an earbud case. Oh, here's another random electronic. We're going to have fun looking up. It looks like it's a some type of a switch here. What is this? There has to be somewhere, like an identifying mark on it somewhere. One side, the side with the actual control this side what is it for you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna google lens it and i'm gonna use this number i'll be right back i found it just by using google lens odd tech impendence matching rotary speaker volume control it's uh to do a volume control for speakers i don't i don't know it looks like they sell for about 20 dollars. so i may just offer it in an electronic lot over on whatnot and then if one of you guys wants to list them independently absolutely this is um I think these are Honda maybe. Yeah, Honda car coasters. So they go like in the cup holders of your car and this these are etched in um, rhinestones as well. Another one of the Samsung watch case covers. That one is in like a rose gold. More valve stem caps and these are for, I think they're for a BMW. Oh, I don't know what this, wait. This is like a headlight assembly with a little LED light down there. Um, your spring. So this is a really fancy, it even has a fan back here to keep it cool. That's really neat. I might need to look that one up. Oh, I got a random piece of clothing. You guys already know I'll try it on for you at the end. I'll throw it over there. Um, a charging block because why would you not go ahead and pick up a charging block? It's this power adapter. I mean, we constantly need these and a lot of these electronics that I'm buying might not have USB cords or the charging blocks if I can include that with an item and then I'm instantly raising the value of that item here's another headlight LED I just need to find like the numbers on here and figure out exactly what headlight you know what vehicle it goes to oh these are metal ice cubes little gift set of metal ice cubes this I have no I have no idea it's in a bag you guys it is again some type of a mechanical component there is a sticker on here though it says refrigerator evaporator fan motor compatible with frigidaire kenmore refrigerators is a evaporator fan motor very expensive looks to be about 25 or 30 dollars a pair of glasses i have no idea what they look like we're about to find out together i don't know if they're oh wait are these oh these are exactly like the ones that i picked last week that i said i was like clark kent but these came in the box so winning oh, this is for dello their car coasters for a mustang he's gonna be so excited and i think i got two packs of these these are little keychains oh how cute these are okay so it's like it's like the PlayStation buttons, but on keychains. I'm not sure why you would need that. <laughs> you probably wouldn't need that. Probably the only person that would buy that would be some girl who's trying to get all the random stuff she can at an Amazon bin store. These are valve stem caps for a Lexus. Um, a Land Rover, um, it's like a, uh, a lanyard for your key fob for a Land Rover. 
Oh, I got these for Dello too, I think. So it, clearly it could go around, I guess it's made for like to go around your wheel well or something, but there's nothing stopping you from taking this carbon fiber rubbery material and putting it anywhere you want to. So I actually got two big pieces of this. This is one of them, again for Dello, another phone ring holder. This I got for Israel. It's just one of those little foldy up snake things. I have no idea what's in here. There is something in here though. It looked like it fell out of a box, which is what we talked about last week that we want to see. So let's see what's in here. I hope it's not anything sharp. That seems to be the theme today. Oh, whatever it is, is itty bitty teeny tiny. What is this? Watch it be worth like a million dollars. It's like a chip. It is a chip, you guys. I have sold a chip on eBay, but it was a potato chip. What does the sticker on this say? Asus TPM one pin TPM module. What? Looking that up on eBay, it looks like it is a security module for an Asus motherboard. I'm not sure. I, there's some listed for 16 and there's some listed for 50. There are 560 listed and there are 115 sold. So they absolutely do sell probably more for around that $16 mark. I know I got at least two of these. I think you could play a game every time that I say, what is this? <laughs> what is this? What? literally is this it looks like a socket goes in here so maybe there's a motor inside here and this is the output something power in output out you know i'm gonna go straight to google lens right let it be worth a thousand dollars let it be worth a thousand dollars it is worth 36 dollars. it is another ignition coil why do i have so many ignition coils in all these car parts today i need to see if dello wants to take all of the car part and maybe i could just sell him everything for ten dollars all of the random car parts and then he could list them himself no idea what's in this find out together shall we guys remember i paid ten dollars and 83 cents for everything here this is another like computer piece I feel like i shouldn't be touching this with my hand and then it has these little straps also what does this say two times interface charging port assembly okay is that like a charging for a phone maybe I'll just look up charging port assembly. Any guess. I have no idea what this is for. I will find out though. More valve stem caps. Was that like the item of the day today? These are for Bugatti. Yeah. Dell will probably try to take those. Um, a random remote control. It was free. It's very scratched up. I didn't notice how scratched up it was while I was in the store. That might just be garbage. Um, I think these are like pin uh, refills. There were a lot of these there. I only grabbed one. Oh, another headlight. So I've got three of those LED headlights now. Oh, I got this beautiful, um, it says scripture journal. So it's basically the book of Mark and the Bible is here. And then directly across from it is just a journaling page. So it looks like these uh, sell for about $5.99, which I think is an outstanding price. And I don't know if you can get all of the different gospels, I would assume, but this one, the gospel according to Mark. So I thought that was a great little book. Um, this says Christmas ornament. No idea. Could it be some 24 karat gold ornament? Of course it could be. Let's find out. It is not. Oh my gosh. It's a like sublimation printed ornament of somebody's cat. Yeah. Available on my next whatnot. Another one of these LED light disc astronaut bag, ring phone uh, handle thing. Another thing of Bugatti valve stem covers. Oh, I don't know what these are. It's a bunch of cards. This one has a dream catcher on it, but I'm like, are these jewelry cards? Are these tattoos? Are they stickers? <gasps> I think they're tattoos. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's, there's so many. Okay, let me just turn these around and show you guys. Whales, an anchor. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my gosh, these tattoos are so cool. Roses, a skull, bows. Put these on the back of your thighs. 
<laughs> Ooh, that one's so photorealistic. They're temporary tattoos. Guys, there are so many in here. Holy cow. That's really awesome. Maybe like a free with your purchase over <laughs> on whatnot. Buy an item, get a free tattoo. I don't know exactly how I'll do that. I did get these um, balloons, like silver balloons, and I'm looking at them now and I'm like, these things look absolutely enormous. I picked them up because I was just like, we buy balloons all the time, but I had no idea. This thing is huge. Wait a minute. I have to know how big these are now. Are they various sizes? <gasps> Some of them are small. I wanted to see the biggest one in here. These are enormous. This has got to be at least a 20 inch balloon once you blow it up. I guess it's for like those big balloon arches or something. Pretty cool. Well, both my sons have birthdays coming up, so I'll use them undoubtedly. Look what I found. Remember the walkie talkies I found last week? I found a battery for one of them today. That was what was missing. And I looked around for more and I could not find more, but I did find a battery for one. I also found, this says Dos Veques. What is that? Do you think that's another um, pest repellent system? Dos Veces? Ultrasonic uh, pest control, yes. Okay, so two little systems like that. More stickers, more valve stem caps. These are for an Acura. Don't know what's in this. Let's find out together. To get like so many little mystery packages in one $10 purchase is insane to me. What is this? They're like lug nuts, but they're threaded on both sides. So clearly not. What does the sticker say? Two piece car transmission. So much stuff for transmission today. I don't, seriously, I'm gonna ask Dello if he wants to buy this stuff. Genuine Nissan part, so a Nissan um, emblem. Another, this is the other carbon fiber piece for Dello for his car if he wants it. This is more of the grip tape. These are little animated guys. Isn't that so cute? Is that a bunny? There's like 50 pieces in there. No idea what's in this. No idea. It's a white box inside of a bag. What is in here? I hope it's something good. I hope it's something good. So far the best thing that we've got is this box that'll sell for hundreds of dollars, but let's see what's in here. Garage remote control genie. So a garage door remote control. I don't know if that was like the most stellar thing ever. Here's another piece of candy. Uh, this says Xyuz. It looks like it's sour. It also looks like it might have expired like four years ago. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll eat this piece of candy. Like the video. A thousand likes, you guys. I'm not positive if I've ever had a thousand likes on a video. I'll put that to the side if the video gets a thousand likes, okay? Another one of the Asus security module pieces. Um, what is this? It says lifetime warranty on the back, so it must be something good. It's an empty box, you guys. Totally wasted space in my bag for that. Here's a purple bag. I feel like we opened one like this earlier. Oh, this is a key fob thing for like a two button car key fob. So many automotive pieces. Oh, it's the other thing of lights. Oh, I just can't get over. Not only how bright it is, but how much brighter it looks to you guys on camera. What is inside this box? Only time will tell. It's the other garage door genie thing. That was a little anticlimactic. More stickers. Ooh, Mercedes Benz parts. There's four of these this time. So it's like the wheel center cap cover. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how much stuff is still in this bag. This is the Owl House stickers. So if you're an Owl House fan, this one is the other one that's like the postmarks from all over the world. I have no idea what's in this little velvet bag. You know how much fun it is to just grab stuff and not know or care what's in it because we're all gonna find out together. Velvet bag, just picked it up, threw it in. It's hair barrettes. They're Halloween hair barrettes. How cute are these spiders, black cats? These are adorable. They will be on my whatnot, you guys. Oh, a little squishy, I think this one's a bat. I don't know if these are, I think these are just squishies. I don't think they're candy. Oh, no idea what's in this. Let's find out together. <gasps> There's a velvet bag inside. It feels like marble. It's got some weight to it. They're magnets. 
They're oil slick magnets, you guys. And these are like strong. What does this say? Moonhua 18 pieces party favors gift. They're magnets and they're super strong. These are more valve stems for an Acura, an, a squishy eyeball. I got more of those squishies than I thought. Um, another Nat funeral service in a bag. Uh, Jeep valve stem caps. These are stickers from uh, Wings of Fire. Is that like a video game or an anime or something? So many more of these little bags. Another one of the little book that is just like a notepad. Oh, I grabbed this because I feel like I'm always missing my um, heat resistant glove for like a hair straightener or something. Oh, I gotta show you guys that. I saw this, it says Q-Grips earwax removal, right? Stay with me here, okay? This is to insert in your ear to remove wax. So it has this tool with it, and then it has these little auger-like pieces. And guys, I don't understand how this company, perhaps these were in here because the company's already been sued and went out of business or something. Because when you see the auger that they want you to put down into your ear, oh wait, they're kind of soft. Okay, it's not nearly as bad as I thought. Because when I looked in and saw these, I was like, that's supposed to go in your ear, but look, they're actually really soft. Oh. Well, that's different. So you just twist this little sucker into your ear. If this video gets 2,000 likes, I will ask Drew, I'm just kidding, we're never, absolutely never doing this on camera. I wasn't gonna do it at all. I just wanted to show you guys the crazy contraption. But now that I see it's like a silicone tip, that's a lot different. More valve stem caps for a Jeep, more stickers. What else is in here, you guys? Oh, this just said reading glasses. The box is a little bit damaged. Oh, wait, are these reading glasses or sunglasses? They're sunglasses with a prescription. These are plus two and with a bifocal. What? Okay, so they're clear here, but they have a plus two bifocal. Get out of here. That's so cool. I never saw bifocal sunglasses before. So two pair of bifocal, they're not reading glasses though. I could see why those are returned because on the outside of the package, they look like they're clear and they're sunglasses. Another LED headlight and this one has like a whole contraption that it's plugged up to. That's kind of interesting. More of these bags. I grabbed all of these bags I could find. Um, these are more of the makeup, permanent makeup needles. What do I do with those? What is this? Akadva. What? Oh, it's a sign. It says no soliciting. Thank you. No soliciting. It's really heavy. Um, oh, I got this for Drew. I don't know if he needs it or not, but it's Ugly's Residential Wiring Book. So it's like an electrician's friend there. And then there's this socket. It's like a dimmer switch. That's a flat front. Another USB um, cable. There's only a few more things in here. Is it anything good? Oh, there's more stickers down here. There are so many stickers, you guys. This is a Silverado, Silverado letters. It wraps around. One more bag with an astronaut on it. And last but not least, are you ready? They are valve stem cab for a Honda and a partridge and a daggum pear tree. I got all of this for $10.83. That's a lot. That's a big mystery box. That's a 40 pound mystery box. Comment and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found. If you're having trouble remembering, just say llama or throw in the llama emoji because we all know that this guy was the real MVP of the day. Here's the dress for this haul, you guys. It looks black, but it's totally navy blue and it has pockets. Forgive it blowing around that's the fan keeping our upstairs cool right now but it's like a t-shirt dress with like a slit in it on either side it is so fun I kind of like this dress honestly a little undecided if I should keep this one I might keep it and just wear it on an upcoming vacation and then bring it to whatnot it's just so lightweight it is like the perfect summer dress I hope you guys had an amazing time going through all of these items with me I appreciate all your love and support on the Amazon on Ben's video. If there's a certain angle you want me to cover about these Amazon Ben stores, drop it in the comments below. I would love to make a video surrounding the content that you really want to see. As always, thank you so much for watching. God bless and remember, treat your business like your business.